Okay, well, it's a medical breakthrough that can help the diabetic patients who suffer from a potentially blinding eye disease who have to get monthly injections. And the procedure is happening right here in Bakersfield. Ophthalmologist Dr. Dilshar Dute of California Retina Consultants and a patient, Isam Kasim, are joining us. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for this having is us. very exciting when I learn more about this, but I want to get to Isam first. So, you were diagnosed with diabetes when? Uh, 1993. So you've been living with diabetes for a while, for a right? Long time, yes. And so, as one of the side effects, you start noticing eye problems. I w uh, in, 19, in 2005. You start because noticing eye problems. I, I w yeah, I was with Kaiser, and uh, they took me to their downtown office. They checked me out, and they sent me to UCLA. Okay. And I start getting injection then. Okay, and so you were diagnosed with diabetic macular edema, right? Yes. Okay, and you were getting injections how often? I was getting injection every six months, then every three months. Like uh, a few years later, I started getting injection every month. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. yes. Well, and Dr. Du, so what exactly is diabetic macular edema? Because that is what he was diagnosed sure. with, right? Uh, yeah, so diabetic macular edema is a complication of diabetes. And as you know, diabetes affects the blood vessels in the body and it can make them leaky. And so when these blood vessels leak in the back of the eye, uh, in the retina, specifically in a region known as the macula, mm -hmm. uh, you can get swelling within that tissue which can affect your vision. Oh, so, so is that one of the symptoms, your vision starts going? Yeah, typically patients will complain of blurry vision, difficulty with driving, doing activities that they enjoy to do, like to do like golf. Uh, patients uh, will try to get glasses and the glasses won't help because it, mm -hmm. it's simply because there's fluid within the retina that's not allowing them to see. Okay, and so the standard treatment, as uh, Assam was just talking about, was the injections, right? Yes. So uh, for many, many years, uh, and, and even to this day, we, s we, we have several you know, treatments available to us. So one of those treatments is laser, so mm -hmm. we'll actually uh, target leaky vessels with laser and cauterize them. Uh, in 2006, uh, we began doing injections in the eye mm -hmm. uh, of medications known as anti-VEGF, and these are antibodies uh, which bind leaky factors in the eye and, and help reduce or eliminate the fluid. Uh, but there's a proportion of patients that don't respond or, or need recurrent treatment. Uh, and, uh, and for those patients, um, there are other medications like uh, the steroids, uh, which, of which Alluvian is one, uh, and they can do quite well on that. Alluvian, so that's what we're talking about today. And we have uh, the video up on your screen is kind of showing what Alluvian, what the procedure is like. So from what I understand, this is an implant, right? Yes, this is an implant. Uh, it contains a drug known as flucinolone. Uh, the implant is injected into the eye. Uh, it it uh, will secrete uh, flucinolone at a steady rate of 0 0.2 micrograms daily uh, wow. and can last up to three years. That is great. So you have this implant in your eye that's almost like a, a slow release or time release vitamin, right? Something like that, right? Yeah, similar to that. And, and, wow. and, and you don't see it. You know, it it kind of hangs out in the bottom part of the eye uh, and, and typically patients don't really notice it. Is it painless? Uh, the injection is relatively painless. You know, we, we, do, we have tricks to numb mm -hmm. the eye so that patients tolerate it very well. Okay. And Isam, uh, so did you, did you do the implant on Isam? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so so yeah. what has your experience been like? Has it been, has it been good? Uh, absolutely. It's, it's been a, a year and a half without the injection. It's, uh, it's good. So it's nice? Of course. Yeah, Isam's done great. Uh, uh, you never get used to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean... Uh, Injection is, is not good. No, yeah. injection's not good. Especially in the eye. <laughs> so, so he got it a year and a half or so? Yes, yeah, so, so he's done great. Uh, you know, he, uh, a year and a half ago we injected Alluvian. Uh, prior to that he was receiving monthly injections with anti-VEGF and he was, you know, in a proportion of patients that uh, required, you know, monthly maintenance anti-VEGF treatment and, and, and fortunately he's done very well in Alluvian um, and has not required any injections since and has maintained good vision. Okay, so who are good uh, candidates for this? Typically, it's patients that have a, a chronic or refractory diabetic edema uh, that are not really responding to anti-VEGF or have uh, kind of an underwhelming response to anti-VEGF. Um, we typically will challenge those patients first with a, a shorter-acting steroid, and as long as they don't have an increase in their eye pressure on the shorter-acting steroids, 
those patients are typically uh, good candidates. All right. Well, Sam, I'm so glad you got this done and uh, it's helping you out. And Dr. Du, thank you so much. We had it on your screen. If you want more information, you can call uh, Dr. Du. We had all that information. And we'll, of course, have this posted online at bakersfieldnow.com later this evening in case you missed this information.